we all interpreted information the same way, then miscommunication or misinterpretation wouldn't be a thing. Again, if the way we speak or converse is the same as every other person, or if our manner of communication is universal, then there will be no need for effective communication because we would understand ourselves correctly. Do you know what this means? It means that to become an, an effective communicator, you must first realize that we don't all perceive the world in the same manner. Tony Robbins, an American author and life coach said, to effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. When you realize this difference that exists between everyone, then you are ready to improve your communication skills. And guess what? In this video, I'll share with you 5 super effective ways to become a great communicator. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Know what you are talking about. When you know what you are talking about, your communication will be more persuasive and on point. Do you know why? No one likes to listen to someone who sounds dumb and the only way to look silly is to have no understanding of the subject that you are discussing. Great communicators show that they are valuable by providing useful information and knowledge about their field or area of expertise. Look at it this way. If they are only going to provide you with random details that you can quickly get on Google, why then should you even bother listening to them in the first place? I'm pretty sure it doesn't make much sense. Mark Twain, an American writer and entrepreneur, once said, if you have nothing to say, say nothing. When you don't know what you are talking about or you don't have good knowledge of the subject, it won't be long before people start avoiding you because so far as they are concerned, you've got nothing valuable to offer them. Here's the thing about humans. No one wants to associate with anyone who has nothing valuable to offer, including how to communicate. Number 2. Listen more than you speak. Shannon L. Alda said, The most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't being said. The art of reading between the lines is a lifelong quest of the wise. To be an effective communicator, you must realize that it is much more about listening to the other party than it is about talking. Here is the thing. Everyone wants to be heard, including you. However, learning to put others first will help you communicate the right message and when you do, everyone will always want to listen because you'll be addressing what needs the crucial stuff. Look at it this way. Say you have a friend who is continuously complaining about the need to get a new apartment but can't afford anything fancy at the moment. Suggesting a couple of lovely places in the neighborhood might not be a good idea because that isn't what they need at the time. To be able to provide an excellent solution to the problem of your friend means that you must listen to them. That way, you can figure out their worry or what is responsible for the anxiety. An effective communicator must be a good listener. A famous Epictetus quote says, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. If you learn to listen twice as much as you talk, you'll be an excellent communicator. Effective communication means strongly focusing on understanding what people are communicating with you. Otherwise, you'll find themselves arguing and losing focus on the subject of discussion. Number 3. Connect emotionally. C. Joybell C. said, You can talk with someone for years every day and still it won't mean as much as what you can have when you sit in front of someone. Not saying a word, yet you feel the person with your heart. You feel like you have known the person forever. Connections are made with the heart, not the thumb. The truth is that your communication or conversation with people will be important if they don't connect with it on an emotional level. Maya Angelou, an American poet and rights activist said, People will forget what you said and did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. To connect with people emotionally, you need to be transparent and be human. Show people what drives you, 
what you care about, what makes you get out of bed in the morning. Express the feelings openly. It'll make them think of you as being real and straightforward. Number four, read body language and pay attention to nonverbal communication. The enormous wealth of information lies in the people's body language. The body communicates non-stop and is an important source of information. Shannon L. Alder said, the most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't being said. The art of reading between the lines is a lifelong quest of the wise. Whether or not we realize it, we keep an eye on the tone of voice, body language and facial expressions of people when conversing with them. Likewise, when people listen to you, they do so with their eyes and ears and also pay attention to your posture, hand movements and eye contact. Number 5. Keep an open mind. So, let's say you have excellent listening skills. You know how best to use your body to communicate and how to connect emotionally. Of what use will they be if you don't keep an open mind to every conversation? Great communicators are open-minded. They understand that they don't know it all. That they know what effective communication is all about doesn't make them knowledgeable than everyone else. So, they are open to other people's suggestions and opinions and ideas. They listen to others and learn from others as much as they are willing to give out as well. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.